but with Laura Muir, Commonwealth Games uh, 1500 champion, I make that 11 major medals from 19 finals, Laura. How much did you draw on that experience that you've got tonight? Yeah, a lot, I think. Yeah, yeah, it took quite a bit of guts, I think, to go when I did, you know, knowing that I was a little bit tired from last night. So, yeah, it just took a lot of experience to know where I'm, where I'm at in races and what I can do. So, I was just so pleased that I made the move, made the decisive move, and was able to hold it. Yeah. People will see you on the television doing this double, you know, in 24 hours, but I think probably over the last 10 years you've, you do train so hard, like double up and so on with yeah. Andy. Has that been part of the programme? Yeah, I mean, not I guess not intentionally, but just the nature of our, our training is, is very intense. It is back to back, and I'm used to doing sort of multiple races, um, you know, close together, and I've done well before, but I've never done it as an outdoor championships. Well, I guess I did it in London, but um, there was a bit of a gap. There wasn't as much of a close race of races, so um, it was a lot to do, busy weekend. But, you know, I just believed in myself. You know, my coach Andy said, you know, I think we can do it. I think we can medal in both. And I was like, oh, okay. So I trusted him and yeah, we delivered. We got the medals. Yeah. Well, two in 24 hours is spectacular. And I think it's four for Dundee Hawk Hill now. It's quite yeah. an achievement, Oh my it? goodness, yeah, that's a lot of medals, yeah. <laughs> How pleased were you for Eilish? Oh, yeah, so we were sitting in the same apartment and we were just like screaming at the screen when we were uh, watching it. And yeah, wow, what an athlete, you know, that's just, I don't think any, I can put into words, I don't think anybody can put into words what a phenomenal performance that was. And I'm just, I'm so happy for her because she's been around for so long. She's been, you know, not, 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 not uh, you know, very experienced, but um, just never got that moment. Um, you know, and for her to come here and to get, not just that moment, but be like a huge thing. It's just, yeah, it was amazing. You know, for her and I'm so happy for her, yeah. Just finally then, the Team Scotland situation. I think the medal tally now in athletics is the best for 40 years. Wow. How pleased are you to have contributed significantly to that for athletics in Scotland? Oh, I'm so happy, yeah. I think especially, you know, having not delivered the medals in the past two Commonwealth Games as well, I felt like, okay, I'm due, I'm due to give Team Scotland a couple here. So, um, yeah, it means it means so much to, to wear the Scottish vest. You know, we don't get often enough to do it. Um, and, yeah, for, for it to be on British soil, it's just about as close to Scotland as we're going to get again after Hamden. So, um, it means so much to yeah, be here in the Scottish Vest, winning those medals, being at the top of the podium, hearing the flowers of Scotland singing, it's, yeah, it's great. Thanks, Laura. Thank you.